At some point in your life, you're going to be around other people talking about what they do for a living. And sooner or later, it's going to get around looking at you, and they're going to be talking about what their profession is, and who they are, and what they do. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes around to be your turn, don't look away, don't make something grandiose up. What you do for a living is an honorable profession. I said it early in the week, we're like the second oldest profession on the planet in recorded time. Well, the people that are here, they really, really care about fencing and they are incredibly knowledgeable and the level of enthusiasm working with these people, it, it's a great recharge to come to one of these things and just kind of fill your cup with the love of the industry. One of the things that I take a lot out of this place is, is definitely the instructors. They are open, they're willing to talk to you, they're willing to answer any questions, and it's been a great experience. If you have any bad habits, leave those behind. They're going to teach you the right way, the proper way, and by the time you leave, I think you're going to have a, a different perspective about what the, the safety is and what's important for you and the company. The takeaways that I get from the students is that I think they realize it's not as difficult of a job as when they came in. And I think that's all because of the education we do here. We start with trying to build blocks. We start with the simple things and we build up towards the end of the week so that instead of throwing, you know, a giant ball at them, we start small, build big, and they build it. And you see the proverbial light bulb come on and they leave here with confidence. And that's our number one goal. I would say my favorite part of the week was the installation when it all came together. And that was my favorite part because I was able to see my teammates improve their, their skills and I was able to improve my skills and interact with my teammates. We're really, really happy with what we've learned. We're able to take back to implement a lot of the, um, what we've learned here. We usually sub out to a technician. We'll be able to now know exactly what is being done and if we want to jump in, we, we have the knowledge to do that. You're learning things that you're getting ready to go walk outside and do. Uh, and so you, it gives you that base knowledge and then you walk, we walk right out into the back here and pick up our tools and go at her. Uh, so you're learning it on paper, you're walking outside, you're picking up your tools and you're literally doing it with your hands. Mothers and fathers, they call upon us to build the fences and install the gates that keep their children safe when they themselves realize alone they cannot. We are called upon by the elderly of our community to build the fences and install the gates that provide peace of mind when society becomes unraveled. Our communities call upon us to build the fences and install the gates that secure our schools and therefore our future. On Sunday when we all get here and come into this dining hall, it's quiet as a mouse. We separate the companies, we take people out of their comfort zone, and they sit next to six, seven, eight different people that they don't know. By Tuesday evening at dinner, you can tell they're already good friends. By Friday, they're great friends. The students develop a network here that, they're only here a week, but when they leave, they've got a network for a lifetime in this industry. It is almost impossible to really put into words how much I have learned from the other chapters of the AFA University because there's just so much. Um, we've really been doing a lot of talking, a lot of networking, a lot of how do you do this, how do you do that, what can I bring back to really change my business for the better and grow. When I was a fence owner and I was a student, and even when I was an instructor, you sometimes feel like you're out on an island, that your problems are your own. But you come to these things and you realize that everybody has the same problems, everybody has the same issues and the networking aspect of it is invaluable so that you can find out that you know the problems that you have in one region of the country are the same problems everybody else has. AFA University has an amazing leadership program, especially in the class that I'm taking, Operations Management. The speaker is so enthusiastic and so inspiring that it really hits home what you should be doing as a leader. So if you have an emerging leader at your business, sending them to something like this is really going to take that and make it hit home. How could, how could you not want to help your staff to grow to become better? It, it, it's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you want to do that? I, I know even after doing this for 13 years, I've learned an immense amount being here. And it's a solid reinforcement to build up what you know already. I've taught these classes all over the country. 
Um, and I absolutely love going out and sharing the knowledge that I've gained and talking to people and, and actually learning from them as well. People that have been doing this 30 years come through here and they're like, man, I just, I never thought of that. And that is cool. And most importantly, we are called upon to install the fences and the gates to protect those who protect us. And that's the men and the women of the United States military. And no other trade can say that. So when somebody asks you what you do, you hold your heads up, you hold your heads up high. A quote from Thomas Jefferson says, nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong attitude. When you leave here to go back home, you leave here with the right attitude and you share it and you live it.